Pay gotta go, man. Thought it went well. Uh, missed a couple balls. A um, few things behind, but that'll that'll happen when haven't thrown with some guys in a while. But thought it went well. Guys caught it. Ran good routes. Uh, you know, I think. I think I put myself in a good position today. Give Obviously. us an idea how grueling that is, because it's that's not an easy deal what you guys just did, is it? Not at all. Um, we did a little something that probably nobody else will do. Have me running back and forth. It's a true workout, you know. Test it, you know. Game climates. See what you can do when you're tired. You got to be able to play in the fourth quarter. Play when you need it. And so um, it's a lot, but you know what? It's football. It's fun. Well, so the goal choice? today, after going through the combine, through the senior bowl, what did you want to prove today? If I could make all the throws. Um, you know, I felt the combine, a couple of deep balls that I, you know, left short, and I think today I made that correction. Um, you know, timing routes like comebacks and out routes, they're when you throw with guys, you know, frequently, uh, those come with time. So I think I did what I needed to do today. Was it your choice to run back and forth, or was that something that coaches wanted to see you do? Uh, that's, that was my choice. Jamie Clawson and I talked about it. We had, didn't have a lot of receivers, wanted to make it easy on them, and then also, you know, you play into the fact you're about talking about when you're tired, you get a play. So, yeah. Vegas was to see Orlando do so much better. It's awesome. You know, we knew what he was capable of. We, I mean, we also know that this uh, combine testing and stuff like that, none of it really matters when you give up zero sacks in a season. So uh, he did he did well today. He saved some face, I think, put himself in a better spot. What did you think about the, the Westlake counterpart you know, saying something on Twitter? He's never beaten Lake Travis, and he also hasn't beaten OU, so <laughs> leave it at that. What has this whole process been like from the Senior Bowl till now? Um, roller coaster, a lot of traveling. Um, you know, it's it's an interesting process. Uh, people trying to evaluate your game, you know, find the, the flaws, everything like that. Um, but, you know, you only get to do it once. You got to enjoy it. And that's the thing that I've heard from everybody that's gone through it is you got to be able to enjoy it. Uh, not everybody gets to go through this. So, you know, have fun with it. Uh, go out there and show out. Which is tough for the interview process of the actual football stuff. I don't think any of it's very hard. I, you know, you just got to go be yourself. That's the most important thing. If you stress about it, if you think about it too much, that's when it's too hard. You know, when they try and get you flustered with questions and certain things, you got to be able to talk ball, got to be able to handle the outside noise and, you know, just relax and go do your thing. How many teams have you met with so far? Right? Everybody? 12 to 15 at the Combine, uh, quite a few at the Senior Bowl. So, yeah, we got quite a few coming up too. Hey, can you get a sense that your, your stock has gone up as people have talked to you about football? You know, the word is that you have a pretty good sense of the game compared to some of your uh, other draft uh, counterparts. Yeah, you know, you hear things, but you never know the truth. But, you know, all I can do is focus on my game, focus on handling myself, and like you said, putting myself in a good position in those meetings to, to show what I'm capable of mentally. You know, you got to be able to know know the game and, and, you know, pick up systems to you, go with it. Do you have a sense that your draft stock is, is – gone up since the end of the season? you feel like you've even enhanced your, your profile since then? Absolutely. You know, I feel like I put myself in a good spot here to, you know, be considered the best quarterback in the draft, you know, no matter the height question or the people, you know, question the character. I think, I've, you know, these meetings have been great for me. So put myself in a good spot, and it's kind of interesting to think about, you know, before the season they had me at a third to fourth round grade, and now it's improved a little bit. Baker, what's, what's like your Kevin? plans between now and late April when the draft hits? I'll be here for a while. Uh, i got meetings and private workouts, and then uh, starting in April, I'll go on visits. Why not go to the draft? I'd rather spend time with my family, people that helped me get here. It was never a one-man show, uh, so I'll have friends and family and coaches, uh, and I'll get to enjoy it with them. And so you're saying here, are you based in Norman for the next little bit? Uh, yeah, just for a little less than two weeks, and then back to work out in California for a week, and then I start visits again. Hey, Baker, you, you go from, you know, good to see you. you too, man. How you doing? Good. Um, you go from, you know, being recruited, those kind of things, to winning the Heisman, now you've got all these scouts here. Has that changed anything about the way you motivate yourself? No, not at all. And that's, you know, before all this, nobody really knew how I motivated myself. And now the, the question is, am I too aggressive, too much? But. I'm going to keep doing what's gotten me here. Yeah, there's some fine tuning, some polishing up to do, but at the same time, if I don't stay motivated, then what's the point? You got to improve. You got to keep getting better. How do you motivate yourself? What, what do you? There's still, I mean, I still haven't played it down in the NFL. Yeah. I want to be the greatest to ever play the game. And so for me, it's starting back over. And I love that. Do you have any interest in going to a franchise that maybe has had some trouble winning um, and made a big part of that turnaround? Is that something that interests you versus going to a team that maybe won the Super Bowl? I'd like either one. You know, you can look at it like coming here. Um, the winning tradition would be like going to a franchise that you know has a great tradition. So I'd know exactly how to work and do all that. But then at the same time, if I went to a franchise that hasn't done well recently, then you know I'd, I'd love to be the one to turn it around and get a chance to do so. What's it like having John Elway watch a throw? Uh, pretty surreal. 
Never would have thought that was going to be a thing. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. I know this is hard information to obtain, but what does MMO mean? Are you ready to? Can't display that one yet. Not yet. Is that something that's coming out on draft night? Do you have? We'll a see. I don't have. A, I don't have a deadline. I think it's. I just have fun. You know, Eddie's trying to figure it out. I have more fun with that <laughs> than right now. Okay. <laughs> Are you taking on Ralph Macchio after this? Or? No, not yet. <laughs> Instead of t-shirts, will the kids be getting headbands tomorrow at your camp? That's a good question. Show up and find out. I already tried to enter and they wouldn't let me in. You ever seen bench warmers, the I am 12? Yeah, first? I tried okay. to be in it. There you go. There you go. You decided to open up another camp after the first one filled up. Yeah. Decision to do that? Uh, a lot of people around here, uh, you know, they supported me throughout this whole process and that one filled up pretty quickly, so I wanted to get another chance to get as many people in as possible. So I'll be, I'll be doing a lot of stuff down the road, too.